but that's a great piece of equipment, something that we use a lot in not only in our in our pass protection uh, teaching progression, but also in our, our run block and stuff as well. You can substitute uh, the torque wheel with sandbags. You can substitute the torque wheel with, uh, you know, a 25 pound plate. Something that's going to give uh, your guys uh, something that, that they can hold where their hands are in the proper leverage points and supinated, right? I don't, we're not turning our thumbs all the way out, but where I've got my thumbs up, I've got my elbows tucked in. I'm playing with a with a with a um, proper leverage up top, okay? And we're going to work a flat set or a jump set or a quick game set or a play action set, whatever, wherever you might use that type of a set angle, an aggressive set. We're going to set out, okay, we're going to transition back in. So everybody's doing that rep, setting out with a, a flat angle, uh, a jump set, an aggressive set, and, and then the guy changes directions on me, and I've got to transition with him. So what we're looking for here, like this is the first rep. So these guys are setting out flat, and they're flat back down. They're taking a jump set, and a, a quick game set, play action set, whatever it is, and they're transitioning back inside. Now, this is not a drill where we're beating the crap out of each other. This is all about movement and angles, okay, and transition. The other things that I'm looking for here, I want to see guys mow the grass with their feet. I'm going to show you reps later where we get caught where one foot is up in the air. So on transition, I don't want to see a lot of space uh, between my foot and the ground. I want my feet tight to the ground. We call that mowing the grass with our feet. And again, what are we looking for with these dowels? We're looking for square hips, square shoulders, okay? I don't want to open up. I don't like that hip. He's dropping his hip now, and he'll get pried open. A defender rushing that, like this is our left guard. So a defender rushing that B-gap is going to pry his hip open, okay? And we'll show you some other drills that we use, fighting pressure to pressure, all that sort. Over here on this side now, this is where we have our torque wheels to start. So there's two phases to this drill, okay? And again, we will start out and we'll go left side, right side, we'll alternate. So now we have the torque wheels here. They weigh about 35 pounds. They have an apparatus on the back end of them that allows the guys to partner up if they want to. But they're about 35 pounds, so it does give them some resistance. But you can use a sandbag. You can use a uh, you can use a weight like I said a twenty five pound plate, thirty five pound plate whatever, but something where they've got to keep their hands in. What we're looking for is we're looking for those elbows in tight. I don't want my elbows flaring out. I want to keep my elbows in. I want my hands in that supinated position. Okay, here you can see. Look at this right here. Watch this first step. Hip opens. That's bad ball right there. I want to stay square. I want to set at that 45-degree angle, but I want to set with square hips and square shoulders, right? So we'll see that. We'll work on that. You know, we'll show them this after practice, and that'll be a point of emphasis for the next time we do this drill, okay, is to work on setting square. All right, again, here's a guy that plays center. So you can see when he transitions, he flips leverage. When he transitions. Okay. All right. And then again, we got the one, we got the rep where they're taking a little bit more of a vertical set, the deeper angle. I give them a switch call on this same drill. Okay.